Retro Gators here. Today I'm gonna show you how to put some textures in your skin. What? Okay, first of all, this is actually the same as my previous video on how to shade skin. So we're gonna be doing it as the same thing that you're gonna do. You're gonna download the template, template, then put it on your skin, then boom, then you will have the freaking shading. Then you will have to erase it all over again. But this time, it's gonna be different okay okay last time I downloaded a picture which is actually just a map of Silent Hill just a map of Silent Hill Silent Hill but I found this extraordinary text texturing on the freaking lake Lake Toluca on here here it, it's actually kind of amazing though so we can so I have the idea that if we might this use this gray this kind of gray thing on it you might put it in medibang cause yeah if you're trying to put it in medibang it's gonna be lowered to the most lowest resolution but the middle is actually the local lake so it's gonna be like a, a very low resolution and it will produce this kinda smooth texture on it so so if I try to go back to my gallery then we'll find this skin over here okay so this is my skin right now my skin, not my actual skin, but this is actually a Grand Reaper skin I made. I just actually uploaded it in freaking skin decks. Next, so if we add a layer, which is actually the Silent Hill map, where is it? Okay. So once we added the Silent Hill map, add it now, bros. You can just use another picture that has the same. That has a texture, so it will gonna mimic it. So look at this. This is what we call a texture. So you can move it around anywhere, so do not extract line art. This texturing makes it looks a skin more splendid. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use blending and overlay. So once I put overlay, overlay, look at that. Look at that. The skin has been textured wow this is so amazing now once you once you already done this then this is just gonna be the, it's gonna be the same as the last video so all you need to do is export and choose transparent because you don't want to have that black marks all over your skin then once you save it in transparent you might want to delete that the freaking gray marks all over so we're gonna try like, damn it we're gonna try saving it to transparent so probably you're gonna see those gray layers over all over your skin so in order to delete those you need a skin editor for that so you can delete it manually and so this is the finished product for the, for that skin so it's probably a bit different la 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 so before i can do that we must move the skin to another folder so it's need to be this quick uh, it's gonna take a long time okay find a ma folder medibang and copy this to the minecraft skin folders and boom paste it okay well, let's go back to the skin folder reload it so you can see the skin is has real things all over it over it. and all you need to do with that is just erase it and you will have the your perfect thing then once you do that you can now erase the other parts of it so you can now finish your skin skin so it will pretty much gonna overlay everything that is on your skin and this is gonna be much more better if you're add gonna add shading so you can just start searching for textures if you want to make it like specific things like like wood like wood textures like that textures minecraft okay okay so you can steal this texture texture you need to make this one much more bigger or you can just do that by just bit mapping it and once you bitmap all over it you can have the spe specific texture okay this one is good actually actually but it's gonna take a long time to do to do this so so yeah see you guys in the next video and don't expect me to upload a video very early because i am not some guy who spent his time watching videos on youtube just like that 
because uh, I'm pretty busy with my life studying some things and I'm pretty busy making manga here so yeah see you next video and